Hello and welcome to the next video. Uh, Tyler here again. Today we're going to talk about how to build uh, links to tag your own campaigns. So say for example that you have a bunch of links on different sites and you want to know exactly uh, which links are performing well for you. Right, which links are, are sending traffic, and not only that, but once you set up goals, we can find out which links are actually leading to conversions for your company. Right, So whatever those macro or micro conversions we set up are. So uh, in this case, we're going to use what are called UTM codes. And so if you actually just do a Google search for uh, UTM Builder or Google URL Builder, you'll get a page that looks like this, and we're going to go into it here. It says, okay, it's moved, so we're going to go to the new one. Okay. So this is the URL campaign builder. And so what we're going to do is you have, for every page on your site, right, you have a URL right up here, right? This is a URL line. Um, and so Google, that's one of the pieces of information that gets sent to Google, right? So this part right here is the base URL. So this is actually the page, right? And that's relevant um, to your CMS, is relevant to know what page it's on. But what Google allows us to do is it actually allows us to add things to the end of it, Right, that gets stripped out and don't get recorded as part of the actual URL. But then the Google Analytics during the processing and configuration part of it will take that and it will log it in a particular campaign, um, a particular medium, a particular term, content, etc. based upon what you want it to say. So say you had a tweet, right? So you had a tweet that you wanted to send out and you wanted to, maybe you were doing a promoted tweet. So you were putting, you know, a thousand dollars behind it. You want to know if you're going to get a good return on that tweet. So what we can do then is we can actually take the URL we want it to go to. Uh, we can then tag it with source, medium, campaign name, term, and content. And so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first off, we have analytive.com. Um, so let's go ahead, we'll go to the blog real quick, and we'll just take uh, the top, top blog post, and let's just say that this is what we wanted to promote. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the URL right here, and we're going to just copy this link, so Command-C on the Mac, Control-C on Windows, and we're going to bring it back over here to our uh, URL builder. So we're going to go there, drop that in like that. So that's the full website URL, so good stuff. Now we're going to set the campaign source, right? So this is where it's coming from. So it could be uh, Twitter, it could be newsletter, it could be Google, it could be Buffer, it could be any number of other sources. And you can put literally any source you want in here. But again, say we're using this for a tweet. So we're just going to say Twitter. Okay, and then it's going to be the medium. So the medium is kind of one level up. Instead of being specific about Twitter, uh, is it paid advertising? Is it email? Is it banner advertising? And so in this one, let's just say CPC, right? Um, cost per click advertising. So uh, by the way, the only two that you really have to have are the website URL and the campaign source right here. Everything else is completely optional. Um, but I do recommend if you're going to do it that you, you fill them in. So then you're going to have your campaign name. Um, so we can give it a name. Let's just say uh, blog promotion, right? Um, I believe you can use a space, but it's going to make it URL friendly. So add a percent 20 to it. So it's going to kind of get annoying. So I recommend either dashes or, or underscores or even better. Term, uh, we're not going to care about. And we will just put a tweet in here. So what has happened is this uh, tool, this URL builder right here, has helped us by automating this process. So it's taken analytive.com, right, slash blog, slash marketing metrics handbook, which is the page that we wanted, and then it's appended all of these variables onto the end, right? So question mark UTM source is Twitter, right? So we put Twitter here. It drops Twitter in the URL right here. We have uh, medium, right, which is CPC. It puts equals CPC right there. Campaign, blog promotion, campaign content, tweet. Um, and it basically, it, so what we've effectively done is we've taken this URL right here, the root URL, and now we've tagged it with Google Analytics uh, tags so that we can use it now in our, uh, or so it'll put that information into analytics for us. So I'm going to go ahead and control C. So I'm going to copy this. Um, you can also convert it to a short link now. This is new, but generally I'm just going to copy the URL. So I've copied the URL. So let me go ahead and I'll bring this window down. And we're going to bring it over here. And let's go to uh, real time and look at traffic sources. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna test to see if our URL is working. So now I'm on the analytic, anal, analytics page. Um, so there's one person on the site right now, it's probably us, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a new incognito window and we're gonna bring it over to this side. So now we have our two windows up. So I'm gonna take that URL that I copied and I'm gonna drop it right in here. Oops, for some reason it didn't copy with everything. You wanna make sure that when you do that, um, you get all of it, right? So control C, there we go, let's see if that did it. Yeah, so now we have all this extra stuff at the end, okay? So let's pull these two windows up and let's see what happens when we fire it. Okay, page is loading. Okay. We got the pop-up. Let's make sure this is working. Ah, here we go. So now uh, it shows this page view on our site. So right now there's two users and one of those is this one right here, right? So we said the medium, remember, was uh, CPC and the source was Twitter. So now this has registered for us in analytics. So actually in the reporting now, this is all gonna show up under campaigns. The easiest way to get there sometimes is to just search for campaigns. And we can see any recent campaigns that we've done. Um, for example, these are all uh, email campaigns that I've done using MailChimp. So MailChimp tags the links automatically. And so uh, in this case, we did a funnels webinar email, we did some destination goals email on this site. Um, we can also sort by source as it's tagged by campaign. So analytic blog updates is a source um, in that case, or the medium. So most of this is gonna be email, right? So the really, the main time I use campaign tracking is for email. Um, I don't do a lot of active social media marketing. Uh, if I did, I would use it for that as well. And you can go to source medium here and we can see, okay, analytic blog updates, email. And then we have other where we can sort by all kinds of the various, uh, various parts and, and tags that we've used. So basically what this allows you to do is if you have something that you want to track and you can't track it, you don't know how to track it, um, but you know that somebody's gonna actively click on the link, then you can use this. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can take the link and you can go to a service like Bitly, right? Um, I'm not logged into a Bitly account, I don't believe. Right, but we can just paste the link right in there and it shortens that instantly for us. So now instead of having this big ugly URL, you can actually shorten the link down to something really small and sweet like that. You can drop it in a tweet, you can drop it into a Facebook post or in an email or in a text or however you're communicating with the folks um, that you need to communicate with. Because all it does is it basically forwards from this to this full one and keeps all the UTM codes uh, in there as well. So if you wanna tag your own links, which I highly recommend doing, uh, this is how you do 